and plan anyway. No. It's Dyer's turn. You peeps chilling in our chat. We gotta show them how it's done. Ten seconds. Five seconds. It's Radiant's turn to pick. What's up, Dota fans? Welcome back. More NADPC hey, underway here. It's game number two of Evil Geniuses versus Sad Boys. I'm here with Suns fan and Jenkins. Sense. The draft is live, and Sad Boys are already up one game here. Got to be feeling super confident, and now we question what is Evil Genius is going to do. Maybe go back to the drawing board a bit. It felt like, and according to Gunner, you know, they set themselves up a pretty good game plan, but it just never really took off. Even right out of the gate, they handed over a couple of kills early in the early skirmish and were not able to build really any momentum. So let's see what they kind of bring out in this game here. And it looks like it's going to be Old Dirty as the first pick as OD comes out. An NA Fabled pickup. It's It's been picked up across all regions, guys, but I feel like... Maybe in NA, it being in a four position is a bit more common than the other regions. It feels like the other Five regions, seconds. the hero is still finding more play as a core. I don't know what your assessment has been, or if you've been all on NA Dota only. Yeah, we invented this. So uh, that's, <laughs> uh, that's basically why this is in the four and five position, and even the mid, uh, the mid position here in NA is because we're just uh, basically like a month ahead of these other regions, and eventually they're going to start copying us when they see it start winning. Because uh, winning, of course, is pretty fun. Ten seconds. Uh, that that's basically my uh, assessment of this. And the the snap pick of this just shows Five that seconds. you know they're trying to take this away from Moo. This is uh, he actually is the original inventor of the OD offline. Everybody started copying him and he started winning with this. So I, I believe every, every band is different. Is by the way, way. Uh, every, every single band, band is different. different. Nick, of course, course, and which Shocks were both in the game, game last time around. Coddle and Nick's probably wouldn't even banned for phase. So, so Shadow Shaman is available, and I think, I think the, the big one, I'm not mistaken, Monkey, Monkey King. King. I, don't I don't know if you want, want to first to it, but it is available. It's hard into OD. That's, that's, a, that's a tough one. You can always interrupt his ult. You can save people from his ult. And uh, it, it will, it will, OD will dump out a Monkey King in lane. Speaking, Speaking of, of dumping, dumping, I have a question, question for you, Jenkins. Jenkins. Uh, Here we go. I'm going to do this every single day uh, if I can, if I remember. Of course, I have a goldfish memory, so that's a big if. A question from Inestrix, who asks, does a straw have two holes or one? Interested in your insight on this. Uh, so I believe a straw would actually have three holes, because, of course, you have the hole on the top. Mm -hmm. uh, which is where you suck through. You have the hole in the bottom, which of course is where the beverage would um, come through. And then you have the hole in the middle that connects the two, the bottom and the top hole. Thank okay, you, Jenkins. I apologize for anybody who has children <laughs> listening to this. Go back to Coco Melon because that's where you'll learn real things. Don't listen to <laughs> this. You can learn shapes and numbers over there a bit better. Imagine Jenkins right having kids. The... Boy, oh boy. Imagine me having kids. Boy, oh I look boy. forward. I look forward to the questions on the future broadcast. Here. <laughs> that's for sure. We started off continue tame, sending him. By in. the way, he's not going to remember. He's going to forget in about thirty seconds from now, probably. Batrider second pick, so can't be too surprised. That was a was that fourth pick last time? I think so. Yeah. Five so seconds. prioritizing that for potentially move, but of course it is kind of a flex pick still, right? It doesn't have to be position three. The beauty of Batrider throughout literally every patch in the history of Dota. I unfortunately can't speak to DNM's uh, personal hero pool or not. Maybe you could Jenkins if you have pub experience against him. If Batrider is something in his repertoire or if he has yep. more of a shallow mid lane pool no he, okay. he, he, he can play bat he he's definitely like dnm is one of those players that like uh i, I didn't even know he was a, a mid player before this this tournament because he just he just plays every role in pubs he plays whatever he's like mostly a core player but he'll, he'll play anything he's he's super versatile and so I, I would assume he's been practicing bat i think if any team is going to first phase a bat it's very likely that it can be played in in both mid and off lane What about position against, uh, four? OD, though. There's a good save already there. And yeah, position four, who who knows, right? Snaking, you could take an off lane type hero and put it in position four, I imagine, and make it work. If anybody True. could. 
Yeah. He, he was, he was an awful The important thing, gentlemen, is now you have two saves. The shard on Rubik and oh, Bat saves. Rider are saves. It's only 1,400 gold, and you can what save a teammate. Is it worth it? That is the question. Both it's for good. good damage from, reduction from, as well. From what? <laughs> what are you? That's the thing. It's like, the team, come together. We've got to save our, we got to pull our money so that we could save ourselves if something goes wrong. It's yes. like, you want a mentality that you're going to go in there and beat ass, not, when we get our ass beat, how are we going to bail each other out, guys? Let's buy shards. Hey, they already <laughs> have the built-in, they have the built-in OD save, right? Now you just True. have to pay money to replicate that times two. Why not? Okay. Real talk. Real talk here. Uh-huh. Okay. So, what if you lasso an enemy and then Rubik lifts Bat Rider to pull the mm. great distance in? You could fountain lasso people, pick up a couple of refreshers. That's all true. of a sudden we're going from you the could, middle uh, lane to fountain. You could actually fountain lasso if you're just right outside the fountain and you do that. That's a really good point. I'd be yeah. interested to see that this game. <laughs> Yeah, that I sounds like that. a formula for Dota fails to me, but I would love to see it attempted. I'd love to see those kind of shenanigans come out. Lots of thought, though. I mean, they, they establish these one-two picks. They have a bit of flex. the drow Dyer should pick now Ten seconds It's Radiant's turn to pick <laughs> Ten seconds. Five seconds. to save lasso to being able to save lasso and so picking another hero that saves lasso is just like you go from being able to to save lasso to save it better it's not as much as like a step up so i feel like they've got some other stuff that they need to cover in a draft like for instance they have no stuns right now i think that's a that's a big issue here like you can just you can just run away from this from this lineup you know you can pick some juggernaut or whatever storm spirit like they can't do anything to uh you know to deal with this right now. I, I feel so, you got to pick a stunner. Throughout the eight or nine, maybe it's ten different uh, reworks of OD that we've had now, what is the range on Astral? Is it actually cl Okay, we have a, a snowball now. It's huge. It, it's, it, it, it's, it's big, big now? It's big at level one. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's big okay. at level one, and the range stays the same. It's, um, yeah, I don't know, like 1,200 or something. It's, it's quite what? far away. No, no. What? 1,200? I, I think it's something like that. Right, no gentlemen. way! There's your no research way. It's, it's, here. It's, it's like close it. to a thousand. It's like close to a thousand. Twelve hundred is massive. It's like yeah, global. Jesus. What, what? What are the units actually? Even in Dota, like I've, I've always wondered that. It's like twelve hundred feet, like six Dota feet cast range on Astral. By the way. So that's about half the range. Eight hundred with X. Technically, if you round up, that's that's a thousand. Just putting that out there. If you round up, that's a thousand. <laughs> in America, we round up. Well, you did call the juggernaut. Uh, but what about? The, I want to go back one step to the tusk pickup again and and they're not going for stuff like earth spirit who was who was also available in the last draft now maybe That's because true. they had things like the nyx assassin early and you don't it's not fun to go earth spirit against nyx magnetized suddenly it's a free spike carapace and it ruins everything for you but here they go back for it again even after that previous game and we talked about how obvious it was that crit was not able to even play his game if things do not go well in the laning phase it feels 
kind of awkward to be a Tusk, but here EG feel confident that they'll get the lanes right this time and Crit will be able to do what he does. Anyway? Phantom Assassin. It is, it is a tough Tusk game, though. I mean, you have the OD, so that means you can always leave the lane and OD will be fine. He can always just 1v2 quite easily, uh, as well as it's a ranged hero to pair with your uh icy hands whatever the hell it's called it's uh so it's it's pretty powerful in terms of the laning however you're dealing with the juggernaut as a core and then you're dealing with the bat rider as a core so both of these heroes don't care about getting ice shards you jug you just spin and bat you just literally fly over it and that always sucks for tusk because it means you can't really roam to the bats lane it's 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 tough it's it's a tough tusk game i i agree with the earth spirit i i feel like it, it's it's there's Earth Spirit's the type of hero that can play into a counter and be fine because there's just ways to play it. Like you instant silence the Nyx, for example. Whereas with Tusk, I feel like Tusk is like a B tier hero where you need to have a good game for it. But uh, maybe EG disagrees. Maybe they think it's really OP with this like with this PA or something like that. I don't know. This is interesting. They ban out Enigma. So what position are they thinking OD is? Are they not expecting a mid pick huh. here? Like based on that, it indicates to me that they think OD potentially is three. Ten or sure. Perhaps this is just such a good Enigma game that you just don't want to I mean, give that have, up regardless. You have Rubik. You have Rubik. I, I suppose it's it's like if if the the Enigma deals with the Jug, you can just always black hole him, and he's going to die from full HP. It deals with that counter, but then you do have the Rubik. It just it really shows respect for this Enigma hero, I suppose. Against, I mean, against seen her any time, by the way. Have we seen Ice 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 play OD off lane, or is that too meta for him? Too new meta for him? Maybe something they'll kind of reserve instead Void. elsewhere. Oh, Void Spirit. I mean, that's still kind of flexible there. Has he played Void Spirit off lane at all? Otherwise, this is OD off lane yeah. most likely. I would imagine so. And maybe it's going to be potential, uh, or based on what this last pick is as well Ten for seconds. Sad Boys, based on the mid matchup. So they could switch it up. I, I can't help but think a huge problem in this EG draft is total lack of ability to kill summons. Like, I really feel like, okay, oh. I wanted to say it. Okay. Oh. I, I actually would prefer a Lycan over Broodmother just because Void Spirit deals fairly well with the Brood. Once you get the Astral Step, you can kill the spiders. But still, there's just n there's nothing to clear summons other than that. So Okay, wow. It's a brood last pick, guys, and I know we got to wrap this fast. Did they just get brooded, and did Sad Boys just 2-0 EG, or can EG weather the spider storm and make it to game three? Suns fan, you first. Uh, I'm going to pick Sad Boys, Jank. Come on. I, dude, I said with the summons, like, I, I got to go with the, I got to go with Sad Boys. I feel, I just really, my gut says there's no summon clear. There's really right. no summon clear. Let's get to a break, and let's throw it over to our commentary team to bring you the coverage on this one. It's Lyrical Trent and special guest Gunner to bring it to you. See you soon. Hmm. I think we're good. I, I had that as a yes. I had a drop off. That's why my my thing dropped for a second, no problem. I just want to make sure that my levels and everything were still good. I had to restart me. Yeah, man. You want to drive up here? Oh, oh yes. Hi, Dota TV. I love talking to them early. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can all come. <laughs> I mean, we're going to need Costco so we can get something for everybody. True. <clears throat> Let's just worry you pain yourself. Oh, well, that's not nice. me. Already made up my mind. And it isn't good. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a dirty, dirty brood bomb coming in at the end here. Trent Gunner, how you guys doing? Uh, first of all, I, I, I think that, you know, it's always good for us to be able to put forward our thoughts, Trent, but Gunner, you're a player. You see this last pick, Broodmother. Is there like a visceral reaction? Do you feel like you got punched in the gut? Or are you just like, all right, fine, guys, we got this. It's an offlane brood. Okay. 
So I actually wouldn't feel that bad. I'd be kind of scared because whenever people pick brood, if people pick a specialist here, last pick, you always get worried. You know, like the lone druids or the broods or like arc wards or something like that. Visage, mm -hmm. all this stuff, you're kind of you shake a little in your boots, but I think offlane brood is kind of a weak role for it. So why uh, why is it going offlane this game? Do you think just because of the void spirit? Yeah, probably also DNM didn't want to play offlane, and he doesn't play the brood mid. Mm, it might be just yeah, here. So he just dropped that, that uh, web in there to try and throw him off, you think, at the beginning. Yeah, it's a little bait, trying to see what happens. The Void is actually good versus the Brood, because I think one ult kills every spider, or very close. Yeah, I think, I think that's what James was saying. It kind of wrecks them now. Oh. Man, I have not seen a side lane Brood in ages. Uh, but EG now, EG walked back up the hill. We'll see if he's staying. I mean, the mid match of now they have the bat versus the uh, the void spirit. So I mean, that's still good, right? Like that's uh, that's nice for sad boys. Theoretically, they have two really well set up lanes here. The spirit versus bat mid is actually the spirit heroes feel fine because they use sticks really well, like Ember Storm Void, and they all oh, yeah, pretty much have a point. way to disengage the Firefly. And the bat usually relies on like the suicide into the tower and uh, with the mobility of the spirit, I guess like there's a chance that that doesn't work out well for you. Yeah, even pre six, like storm has pull, ember can get chains, void can get dissimilate. Or spirit if you're cool, gets that kick and roll. So. Well, <laughs> if you're cool. <laughs> if you're cool, I like that, yeah. Will that ever be you, Gunner? Are you gonna bring up some more <laughs> spirit mid or what? Are you not cool enough? We, uh, we played over CG. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, that was that was like literally the other day. So, yeah, you're that cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, I was just talking about myself in the third person. <laughs> Got it. We'll have to watch for that next time you play against that with it. Um, man, speaking of, uh, of, of cool stuff, though, Moo playing this Broodmother offlane, and they're dealing with it pretty well so far. Uh, granted, this is not the time when it becomes scary, but they're just spamming into the shot, throwing out daggers. Uh, and Moo doesn't have a stick or that much regen left either, so he's got to be careful here. The issue with this offlane brood is it's level one, it's kind of weak, even it's level two is weak. Nice. And you eventually want to get in this position where you can cut the waves, but let's also kind of get this PA free farm. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sold on what it's going to do for the game. It is weird how they're. Yeah, I, I don't know. They're like trying to focus on the the brood at like twelve minutes, not the brood at like four or five minutes. That tends to like try and bully someone out of the mid lane or something. Mm. I think Tusk Tusk is also a pretty good versus brood. You have a punch through BKB and the snowball will like track over cliffs and stuff if you're fast enough. All right, so to be, we have a stat here from Knoxville showing the brood. Uh, the phases it's picked in, according to the stat, it's been first phased twice and it won both games. So mathematically, everyone should be first phasing brood. That's like what I'm that. hearing. That's, that's some good math there, Trent. I, 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 really logical I think that was like liquid. They would pick it on eight <laughs> and it was really broken. Or maybe it was Matu on Secret? So, there was some weird thing where they were just picking brood really early and still winning. I yeah, felt bad. I think right, actually. Wait, you just got a spider. That was really weird. Our TZ killed the spider, and then the spiderite spawned for Radiant. What? Was, oh, shit. Did it Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I thought you meant it. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Look different. <laughs> I'm Haven't left. you watched like all these brood versus Enchlings lately? Jeez. Look at that, they like keep pushing back and forth. They kill one and then the other one spawns for him. And no, trying to <laughs> run away now. Ooh, he's gonna get out of there. Easy has to jump away. And no regen right now on the PA. Uh, fly. Fly went for the angle, dude. Can he get out of there in time? Give our keys yourself first, quick. <laughs> he does, right? <laughs> and backs away. Is that the Sephora life? You're just like, oh no, I'm gonna die, but I'll sell my carry. He can't flame me. Yeah, it's like our action hero moment, you know? It's like diving in your death just to pass one tango over to your, uh, your uh, that's what, safe that's what these so they don't are. rage it's like quit. You watch your five die, and then your carry just types, bring me a salve. Yeah, no, I remember no, you <laughs> actually, they get psyched when they're five dies. Because he says, bring me a salve, and the mid laner says, yeah, TP here first, though. Fill right. my bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been noticing that that's happening a lot more often uh, nowadays, particularly without that, like, two-minute rune that was there before. It's like some, sometimes people will even be like, my mid lane's a little rough, guys. You should go do some suicide fight yep. so that a support can TP mid. 
Honestly, that is hundred percent happening in DPC it, games. It, I have it does definitely happen. seen it. People yeah. will, like trade one for ones in side lanes just so that they can fill their mids bottle. Yep. I, I've seen some shadow shamans suiciding. Start like running and clicking someone. I'm like, I don't think this is gonna work out for them. And then they they drop like in the eighty percent of their HP and die, and then they just fill their mid bottle, and it's like it's kind of a win overall. Hellbear Smasher trying to give the clap over there towards the spiders. Uh, misses on Moo, but as it expires, they will uh, be able to pick up another one shortly here for Fly, most likely. Five minute runes coming around. As up top, there's a little bit of a battle over a stack that's being built. It uh, looks like EG are going to get one of the two uh, down bottom, and then likely uh, three, rather two up top as well. Three for one. If uh, you fans out there have not played against Brood in a while, because the hero's a little bit unpopular, uh, it is 25% magic resistance on the spiders now, which is something that people, because it used to be you always thought about cleave as being like the way to deal with them, but now like magic damage is not nearly as bad as it used to be. Yeah, that's why the Void Spirit's so good, because it's physical and magic and hits yeah. every spider. This clap is pretty nice from the Hellbear. Yeah, in fact, it goes down. It will go off the Hellbear uh, before he's able to get that secondary clap off. But a lot of damage being dealt back now by Mu on to our Suki in mid lane. We're going to go up to the last of play. Underneath the tower, Abed will have to go for the jump away. Uh, so both heroes taking a lot of damage. Then as we saw, TP in. This is actually a TZ beat in. Yeah. Oh, he got a bottle wrap, but still can't do much. Wait, no bottle. When, when's the 50 50 though? Gets the bar in. Yeah, true. That stuff. And now he's. Oh, yeah, there you go. Because he's six now, right? So they're just going to swap. Yeah, I think the PA will lane mid. By a stick. Yeah. Mm. Well, this is really maybe. smart. <laughs> yeah, I love how he buys the six minute stick too. As he said. That, that's kind of perfect. It's like, yeah, this is worth it. Gonna be here a while. A very nice way to deal with it, definitely. And I mean, with Broodmother, very hard to try and switch up the lanes at this point. Uh, since all your, your uh, webs are down here. Granted, he does have the five charges built up, but uh, we'll see if he wants to make that rotation and sort of follow the PA. Probably not, though. I think it's really awkward because if they want to core bot, it'll be the bat then. I think bat dies a lot easier to this board in the side lanes, especially with like some edge running at him. They tried to push an Isis Ice up top. And, and but immediately gonna go for that snowball, diving in on the PPE. Crit. And to take advantage here if possible, now the trade goes back the other way. And after a lot of the jug, and that should be the extent of it, most likely. Gotta get another ward down. Bot lane? Oh. Abed, get a little dicey. Hide away, Moo. DP out. Abed. Top, where the action is going to continue. They brought up Fly, uh, and they're going to take him down at least for now. And again, uh, this time it's, it's EG that are up at 2,000 gold at uh, seven and a half minutes. Snaking caught in the river. He just ran the entire way up here. Would not be a great time to die. Ooh, look at those shards, crit! This guy point. No, walk up there, don't see it! Oh. Did he just not believe? Uh, maybe he just I thought think he was, was scared. scared to the yeah, yeah. With a good reason. No on him, crit has the snowball afterwards. He's gonna die here. <laughs> Comes out in the fire. Uh, he will fall. But nonetheless, uh, they should move there. DNM picking up another kill. Up, uh, they've got the ice is ice surrounded again. He's way in under the tower. Right now, I'm, My heart. He will be blocked down. And he comes back in to secure that finish. And he even had boots. So used to the, the bootless ODs, but uh, the hero slows a bit too much. Dyer's middle tower is having a battle. Oh. see all of this now, uh, making moves down. Uh, that, that, that are easy. Very powers, comfortable on this hero. Um, at least for now, he's had to rotate out. Trying to push in this mid tier one tower while bottom, the uh, cutting is going to come from move. This is not a, a lot harder to do. Yeah, my heart. yeah it's just gone. Again, it's honestly these, the slows for PPD. <laughs> They're the real finishers. But uh, that was just snaking with the easy telekinesis. But to, that we already uh, we had that stat before too from because uh, you played against the Arteezy Queen of Pain or uh, 
Phantom Assassin. So he's uh, climbing the ranks here, trying to catch up to QO. Yeah, he's like a really high winner on it too, right? It was like 64, I think. It's not bad. He is such an annoying hero. Yeah. There's a uh, lot of annoying carries right now. Yeah, this PA especially though, this Divine Rapier, I don't just... Makes it so every game is winnable for PA. Yeah, true. They get it, one crit, your carry just dies from full, and you're like, oh, okay guys, I guess we lost. <laughs> yeah, there have actually been so many games like that in the past year with PA. It, it got a little ridiculous. Dyer's courier is so okay, One courier. step for the courier. He's actually out of steps for four seconds after that, but was not punished for it. Yeah, I so. Get out of there, but Abed in the late starts backwards, has all of them, tries to get out the way, can't get away. Oh my oh god. Oh man. That had to be perfect. The dissimilarly first for the burn damage to dodge, and then, oh my god. And then Bob licking everything too. Jackson's Stadium's Vulcan Towers about to go. As mid. Oh, a little punish here on the snake king. Make him burn for it. And knives under tower. Don't answer that. And tries to jump away. DNM has Firefly. The chase down is coming. Has Ice Death off the cooldown again in a second. And just now gets the mana for it. But I get there in time. DNM causing the jump from Ahmed. Now Prince shows up. As he's one of the two for Ice Death after a quick snowball. Ice Storm in the skin in. Oh no! He ran out of Firefly. He's up there in the river. Tries to get the keyboard down to back away and dagger goes out no crit there damn that was oh, close man. and that courier just brought the tome to crit too or else he would have had the punch I think happening to radiance middle tower. very brawling back and forth early go here as pressure now is going to be mounted towards radiant uh mid on power another charge blocks up with pets there on the snaking and also blocking fear from retreating that direction just like Abed's been very busy over the past couple of minutes, and that's freed up Moo a lot. Mm. He's so sad his Falcon Blade's dead, though. That is true. He was hoping for all his <laughs> mana region, now he's sitting on 100 with a Jackson's sword ring. Yeah, that, that's your snowball oh. item. I'm not sold on that item either, though. I know they buffed it, but... Gotcha. Yeah, it seems, uh... I don't know, it's like any player who buys it, buys it on a lot of heroes, you know what I mean? It's not yeah. like a single hero item. Can you, you also just like buy, like, an idea. you know, three clarities? <laughs> Dire's top tower You're happy with what you did? His, his ability. No. To you know, the, the problem is that's more opportunities for your carry to get tonight. You know, you keep bringing out clarity, it's gonna be gone eventually. But We buy them all in, like, bulk. Okay. Let's see. At a discount, at Costco. At Costco, Dota Dota exactly. Yeah. Yes. Everybody's gonna understand that, except for Dota TV viewers. <laughs> Abed, you get jumped here, but you know, I'm not able to find a connection. Dagger goes out on the crit, and now they're trying to touch another target. Yet again, a lot of heroes showing up to bad boys, four down in the bottom lane, buying space for fear. Let's uh, try and get in towards his earth for a couple of items here. I don't think EG is ever going to care about these subs dying. This, I think their lineup, if they're even or ahead, they're just going to win at some point. They have OD versus Bad, as long as he doesn't get jumped, he'll just save the last of target. They have PA to be PA and just kill everyone. Yeah, how does this look with the blur? Oh, okay. All right. Please. I say, 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 Right. Not able to keep them alive. Have they pulled them into the deep? On sad boys. If this guy's already dropped the ult, feeling sanity, sinking, thinking about walking back in on him. And he dropped the hammer, keeping this man and not quite. No. <laughs> and uh, while two men afterwards, they get the chase down on the ice, ice, ice. He is going to fall. Crit is going to die. But I thought it was going to be okay for EG, but uh, sad boys definitely the ones that come out ahead there. So what happens when you fight Batrider for 40 seconds in a row? <laughs> this guy gets stickies on you. I think Batrider, the one thing I see for your sad boys is Batrider I think is really good here versus OD. Because OD likes these slow fights, he gets multiple astrals off, that's to save people, you know, go kind of bait heroes for him. But this Bat will either get the OD at the start or just get stickies constantly in the fight. 
Yeah, not the not the way OD wants to take fights here. They actually smoke out of the base right now too. Uh, they have the orchid on Abed, but they're trying to uh, grab something here. Also, Is during that fight, he, uh, he solo killed the brood bot. Which is yeah. why I didn't show up mid. Forward, so on the Abed, he tries to get away, but no more steps are available, and it's six jump in. Oh, he's all a man, I keep him alive, great. One to fall. Never Good door, take down anybody else this afterwards. Ice, ice, ice. ice. They don't have mana on the Rubik to chase. Yeah, DNM was shy on mana, that's why I popped the illusion rune, because he was just trying to bottle his way through it. But he couldn't get it done, so they couldn't get the last one to Abed. I was meant to have this. In. Next round of bounties are coming up. It looks like it's going to be another trade off there evenly. And Jug finishes off the Maelstrom actually. Uh, going next to the Mask of Madness. Why? Blown in the wood. Likely to die here. Try to get some wards down. Not sure if that one is going to be spotted or not. How many times have we seen Fly die to a single Barrator? In both <laughs> <Yeah>. games. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, there's there's your stat. I don't know, he, uh, him and Crit, I mean, you said they don't care how many times the support side. I hope that Fly and Crit don't care, because, man, they are not having huge impacts. Hey, Crit might find its moment here now, though. Sign up for a TZ, the Meteor Hammer right out of there. Easy peasy. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, uh, impressive showing, uh, so far at least. 2k gold lead for Evil Geniuses. And I'm taking a look at the, the next couple of minutes here. Likely try and just like put the clamps uh, onto sad boys if possible, I guess. Maybe try and take that mid tower since they've already locked their own. Yeah, they just got moved. Pressured again down bottom here too with the orchid. If he has a plus one, this is definitely uh, doable. Tobit's trying to snipe out the spiders. A little battle happening down here. Uh, like the brood, I guess, having a bit of a rough game in terms of actually making use of the hero right now, right? Other than like pushing bot. Now the silence is going on down their bottom, but mid is where the action is going, and crit is going to be taken down. So they tried to get something happening down there, but as we saw, it isn't going to work. And now the potential connect up here. It's underneath a uh, observer ward, though. So Abed should realize that this rotation is coming. Similarly, play. Abed, so they have to jump back. And they're still and, looking for him, but we'll get And it. that's the kind of impact that you don't necessarily like see numbers wise, but like Abed wasn't there to like try and turn around the mid play, whereas like Void Spirit the Shield likes to kind of be there in those moments when Atosk is being gone on because he can punish. But he's busy chasing this brood who doesn't even get the kill on in the end, and now brood has an eggs done. <laughs> Things are happening. Always got his Falcon Blade. Happy. The mana region up online. They're gonna hit the tower pre 20, looks like. Get this outpost. EG's probably gonna wanna make a play down here at some point, kill the brute and take the outpost back. And like the 18, 19 minute mark, I think. Ooh. here. They're trying to go for Roche Abed. Maybe it's down a little bit by the fast. Silence is out there afterwards. Actual fire down. How much damage do you have? It's 6 down 1. Now they get in, trying to find themselves all up. So here's two ones to wait in. Snowball. Oh, he's trying to man again. Oh, they got him anyway, though. Another one of these battles, long battles uh, against the bat, might end up being their demise as they will lose it afterwards. So no Roche available for evil geniuses. And in fact, it's bad boys that continue to sort of win these oh. fights. Speed run bottom, man. Get that open post. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Abed. A little bit again. Light. Eats up a bunch of spiders. I guess that he's just going to have to back away now. I mean, he does have a TP available, but it doesn't look like he's that afraid. Hmm, I don't know, Snakey's coming from uh, the right, and then uh, DNM TP to the lane down bottom. Oh, Snakey in the ring! <laughs> and I'm going to kiss he's like, hey, I'm going to dive in right here with you, but I don't think it's going to happen with you. Oh, that's a great fight. All right, yeah, he's eventually going to fall, but he's going to take him on a merry little merry curse. Is he? How much mana does he have? 600? He's got enough mana. He's an orchid. Oh, 
EP 15 seconds true, away. I, <laughs> I mean, he's trying. He's taking a full elephant turn here, right here. <laughs> Going all the way inside their face. Right, that's that's, that's, that's got to be the end, silence. surely. I mean, he's got TP back up in one second. If he can manage to escape long enough with taking faces. <laughs> like, well, since I'm here, I'll just, you know, heal up in the fountain a little bit. Look at this path of spider. Like, they started here. What the hell? And the worst part is they still took the outpost. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even down. save that. Dang. Well, things not looking so great for EG now. I mean, the PA, as you said, still a very scary hero. But now fly, lassoed again. Sprites are with us. Uh, I don't imagine that this is going to be quite as long of a journey for him. But maybe not quite as exciting as the gunner chase, is it? Gunner this chase. is drawn out, but uh, the gunner chase. Sorry, right, yeah, sorry. It looked like a gunner play. The Abed chase. Gunner, how you doing there, bud? I'm good. I'm all right. Good. You're not being chased around. That that's no, actually a lot nicer. I'm comfortable right now. <laughs> don't worry about me. Um. But what do you think about uh, sort of the, the state of the game at this point? Like, EZ is still slightly ahead in terms of net worth, uh, but XP definitely into the favor of Sad Boys. Uh, would you be worried right now, Gunner? You freaking out if you're, uh, if you're EG? I try not to get freaked out whenever you're 50 50, because a lot of the times when you draft, you want to. You usually try to be comfortable with a 50 50 game. Okay. You like want to mentally be like, if we play this 50-50, we got our items, our hit, our timings, our heroes have good synergy, and we'll, we can win this game. Which I think that's kind of how they should feel. I think this PA can still 1v5, they have save for him, they have initiation, they can, they have lane shove. They kind of have like all their, the tools needed to win. Do they right just, want their middle tower to fall? It's not all online. I think this PA BKB is what's going to make it online for them. Yeah, the answers to that are a bit limited right now, considering the Jugs items, and then they just have last of all. No Dispel either on Island, dead. Looking for more now, and he can hit no timing. Takes down here a couple of times, he looks a lot better. He took off the rest of the spiders, they send forward the Helder Smasher, gives him a clap. Standing ovation, now looking for more Fiverr. Fiverr? From here, Warren's getting into this fight. Wild deer. BKB is going to be revealed, jumps away afterwards. And with the buyback, they should not feel super comfortable stepping forward for more. Yeah, he needs it for the roast just in case, but that does not feel good because he was so close to his Manta and then he had like the death loss gold and then he just bought back and now that ultimate orb he is just gone. And smoke immediately into a failed gank. Fight connect. The, the thing about his build, going this Maelstrom on Jug, it means he wants to be able to fight a little earlier. If you like the standard carry battle fear, it makes you worse versus PA. At least the Maelstrom gives you a way to get out of the evasion. Yeah, but unfortunately he's just getting punished by the uh, the Void Spear with the Orchid. Yeah. The Void has bots and Orchid. This guy's just going to sit in front of a brood wherever he is and just farm. He has 260 last hits, he, you know. He's just going to keep farming. I think his whole goal this game is to make the map pretty for his PA. Like wherever there's a wave you can shove out and make it annoying for the enemy, that's all he's gonna do. Yeah, they, uh, the positioning this whole game has just been everyone else between Arteezy and Sad Boys. I, I guess that one thing mentioned, like, Rubik now is this is the second time he's sold Sanity's Eclipse, and like, hypothetically you say, okay, maybe you can blow up the, the PA or the task of relatively low mana, but it feels like it might almost be better for him to get Astral if he could have. I think he probably wants Astral. He, he definitely way. wants Astral. Astral's... This Rubik OD matchup's really bad for the OD if the Rubik steals Astral. Yeah. Find one, no ball in afterwards, and two, 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 two kills, and they finish that in for the Outrider. Gonna buy back immediately now, Rubik, he wants to get into a fight. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's down one, now trying to move for more. Jumps on the fear, he brought back in the last fight, and now he's got a lot of trouble. But he's looking for the crit to blow him up, having to tag him afterwards. Moon now, he's pinked down, up on the high ground, he's also getting absolutely Waller. He jumped in, the OP is there, he's best again, and that fight went terribly for Sad Boys. It's good timing. It's good. They need his BKB bat. Can't do anything, but I don't know, they're all so behind. EG's so far ahead right now. It's 9k gold. 
As uh, as this game's been going on, Ice is Ice has been getting closer and closer on those vanish into meteor hammers. That lasso was 0 0.04 between the hammer hitting and it coming up to the astral. One of these times he's gonna cut it too close, but it looks pretty. No one hand, and as you said, a really big. Uh, you know, speed now for Evil Genius. 10k up to it, and Aegis in hand. Uh, XP is, you know, putting back their direction as well. Um, so we can have to give me a minute and we're going to take me again. Have to back out. We've got a game on our hands. Oh, we're pretty heavily in favor of EG now. That was the most like awkward the thing, because the, the Rubik's stole's blur. The PA was mm. blurred, and they just both walked into each other, and they're like, you shouldn't be here right now. <laughs> <laughs> they get revealed, and he just dies. Got it. Bye. Oh, now they're on the hunt again with those bots. The move, he just wants BKB. <laughs> and the ward just lurking ever so menacingly. I'm over here. There's an area, I mean, there. I'll head into afterwards. You will still move. You find anybody else that even wanted. You might be getting oh, weird off now. Nice. Oh no! He got baited. Yeah, he did. That was a really Ice nice just play. Kept not astraling. Like it was on cooldown at first, and he just kept walking. And then suddenly, Bat's like, "Hmm, <laughs> my team is dead." Uh, yeah, team looking really good now. Or he. Oh, and, you know, by the time Fear finishes that Manta, he'll have two silences. Uh, in fact, he already does on Abed, so yeah. That, that was the end of Fear's game, pretty much. Yeah, that one did feel a little bit strange. I wasn't exactly sure what the... Oh, well, I guess just to force back the fight, but... Definitely yeah, losing that Roche early feels really bad, because it gives us PA, like... You know, depending on what his items were, if he didn't have his BKB finish, he could just get Aegis and like a Deso instead of this BKB and go more aggressive. So you don't want to give it to him, but buying back on carry just feels really bad. Any time before like 30 minutes, right? Maybe he thought he could just show up like and get a big Omni slash. And I feel like Omni slash is pretty rough this game. Uh, against a lot of these Is heroes. Going to that <laughs> wow. We have the records for the Void Spirit last. It's all versus Broodmother's. Albot's now third at 25 minutes. Okay. Not bad. First place was almost 300. I wouldn't feel fair. <laughs> it should, I mean, I guess putting it in the context of against Broodmother's is good, but it's always going to be the case. All right, I could have taken off. Please <laughs> But uh, Abyssal Blade is now completed and trying to dot the I's and cross the T's here for evil geniuses. Taking down this last tier two tower, they're going to have uh, afterwards, they kill it quickly. And be out of there. Um, they're going to have about like a minute or so left on the Aegis, maybe after the tower falls. Yeah, I don't think they Actually, planned uh... the. blur got popped up top. Did he, did they not see each other? Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe they won't take power right away. I don't think they're planning on ending the game right now. They're just gonna get like thirty thousand gold next stages. Okay. Eventually, one hero is gonna walk out of the base because they're bored and, and they'll die. <laughs> that describes Dota so perfectly, actually. <laughs> that's how that's that's how you talk about it when you're winning games. Like if you're in a good position, you're just like play the map, just farm, chill. Eventually, the enemy team's gonna be like, we have to do something. We're losing too much. Hence born, and then you know, game's over. And that's I, it. I like the description of just bored better. Like none of none of the like we have to do something. Just I'm bored, and when now we need to go. <laughs> yeah, go smoke, go fight. City and base. Not my style. With gratitude. See, it gets everybody else out of your base. That way you can farm the waves, right? Then TZ then. Holy moly. Yeah. Oh, Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. Do not see beyond the Phantom Pale. Safety BKB just in case. Feels so bad. This is a hard jug game. The uh, PA is really good versus jug because all the spells go through spin, and then Tusk also has a 
way to cancel spin TPs, which is usually how you want to be able to play Jug. You shove these lanes down, you spin TP, you get a lot of GPM, but you can't really do it this game. Yeah, you cannot be that greedy at all. Thank you, Nox. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Uh, so, at the 30 minute mark that's coming up, they're going to have both outposts on Evil Geniuses. Uh, we're also getting that next round of items that are available. Uh, which they're going to need to pick up on uh, Sad Boys. Uh, that smoke up play. I mean, is it when you sort of see people spread out, I guess, and try and run towards lane? Like, is, is there a main target that Sad Boys would be looking to gank, um, you know, with the smoke here? Or just whoever they find? I think it has to be the OD. If you get a core that's not OD, and that OD will just actually save them. Yeah. Which is why this it feels OD just the most vulnerable, too. Like, yeah. mobility-wise and defensive item build-wise. At least he's gettable. Easy. Run Go into here. Oh my god. That's the third of his life gone. Why not? Cool hero. Well, Very fun. Feels about rapier time, I'd say, for RTZ, right? There's one way to make this interesting. Yeah, have a chance for the jug to not worry about your evasion anymore. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Oh, City buys eggs like a coward. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, it's probably the better item, but you know, well, there was still a lot of rapiers oh, today. You got him? I actually know. I didn't connect on it. Uh, it's really hard to hit that on Brood. He's so fast. Yeah, I, I was watching a bot at like the 15 minute mark. He kept trying to like hold to remnant and he would miss it a lot because there's always a spider like to in block. the tree too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what do you think about this? Like the no Yules build on on Abed? Because I, I guess is it because of the OD or set up for you or is Yules dead? Or, uh, avoid he has an OD like the Yules. We, there's like an OD offlane Void Spear 4, and it's because the OD gives your Yules a f or your Void a free Yules with Astral in like the mid game. So I think he just wanted to go Orchid to pressure the Jug mostly, which is like that's how they won the Roche fight, right? Jug gets picked from some Orchid timing. It feels good. And he was over farmed because of the Brood too, so like gets to like a better timing with it as well. Oh, Abed almost got the cause, but then they get away. Fast what fingers, and now the turn they find. Ah, pretty clean game overall from EG. There, there was like some hope for Sad Boys um, with like the way the Brood was playing, like just for that 20 minute mark where it was like, okay, maybe they can kind of link something together here. But in the end, uh, EG just uh, providing too much of a safe haven for Arteezy in this game. And then, of course,